Pavlova is a very famous dessert, and it's been around for a long time. It was named after a Russian ballerina named Anna Pavlova sometime in the 1920s. She made a world tour, and two of the places that she stopped at were Australia and New Zealand. This dessert was invented in one of those two countries, and there's a bit of a controversy, and they fight over it all the time. But one of her biographers actually wrote that a chef in Wellington, New Zealand, made the dessert for her in 1926, so we're going to go with that one. We're going to make a pavlova out of meringue, and that's what it's traditionally made with. It's usually a big meringue filled with cream and then topped with fruit. We're going to twist it around a little bit. We're going to make mini ones that you can make for a party. So we're going to start with by have our mise en place where everything is ready to go, two egg whites at room temperature, a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, a quarter of a cup of regular sugar, a third of a cup of confectioner's sugar, and some almond extract. If you don't like the flavor of almond and you want vanilla instead, that's fine. But this is going to be one of those times I'm going to say don't use pure vanilla because pure vanilla is dark brown and it will change the color of your nice white uh, pavlovas. So we're going to start off by putting our egg whites in the mixer. I'm going to turn the mixer on. And we want to get these rather frothy before we start adding sugar. Not, not stiff peaks or soft peaks, just frothy. When they're starting to get a little frothy, I'm going to add that one quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. Now slowly I'm going to add a tablespoon of sugar. Now mix until we get soft peaks. I'm going to add some more of the sugar. That's about right. Now, let me tell you one thing about meringues. If you're going to make them, don't make them on a wet day or a damp day because they're just not going to work out. You're going to have gummy meringues. They won't be crisp. So you want to do this on a day where it's nice and dry. Okay. Now I'm going to take that one-third cup of confectioner's sugar, and I'm going to sift it over this mixture because there might be some lumps in there. We don't want our lumps. It were some. Okay, and then we, with the spatula, at this point also, if you wanted to color this meringue pink or yellow or blue or whatever, you could add a little bit of food coloring. So I'm going to just blend this in. And at this time, I'm going to put in that quarter teaspoon of almond extract. Okay, put that aside. Get yourself a cookie sheet. I have mine lined with parchment or you can use a uh, sill pad if you have it. You could actually use on this um, aluminum foil if you wanted to. And then I have my piping bag. You can use a, a, a freezer bag if you want to with the tip on a decorative tip. And I put it into this 
picture so that I don't have to have four hands. And now I'm going to put this in there. This recipe is very easy if you want to double or triple it. I'm making only a single recipe with two egg whites. You can go ahead and make it with six egg whites. Depends on how many little pavlovas you want when you're done. Okay. Now, I want to make little nests, little cups, but I want them to be small. So I'm going to start by making around and around, and then lift up your bag and make a lip around the edge. Round, round, lift it up, and make a lip. You just want a nice little cup. If you want them to be really perfectly all the same size, you could draw circles on the opposite side of the parchment and then just follow those. But I'm not going to be that fussy with them. So as you can see, I got 10 mini pavlovas. Again, depending on how many you want to make, double, triple your recipe. Now, another thing is, if you have like little uh, little peaks, you can wet your finger and just push them over, push them down so they're not pointy. Now, what you want to do before you bake these, and you're not really baking them, you're really drying them, they must sit at room temperature for one hour. After one hour, you're going to put them in a 200 degree oven for two hours, and that's just drying them out. Then you let them come to room temperature, and then you can store them. You can make these up to five or six days in advance. Just put them in a tightly contained, uh, airtight container, but do not refrigerate them. Leave them at room temperature. Now, we don't have three hours to wait, or two hours to wait to do these. So I've already baked a sheet full of these, and I'm gonna show you how you can serve these. And you can serve them any way you want. You could fill these with pudding, or in my case, I've got two fillings here that I just put in a zippy bag. And this one is pastry cream, which I've made before on the program. If I'm not gonna make it today, if you want the recipe, go to the website and it will be there. I've made it several times before. And you can just fill up these meringues. That's the pastry cream. Then here I have some raspberry uh, pie filling, or you can use raspberry jam, strawberry jam, blueberry jam, any flavor you want. Fillings for these are endless. Okay, I'm not gonna do all of them. Then I have some fruit, and I'm going to put on the pastry cream, I'm gonna put a blueberry. And on the raspberry, I'm going to put raspberry. And you can just like dust these with powdered sugar just before you're going to serve them. When you want to fill them, I said you can make the shells five or six days ahead. That's fine. Don't fill them until you're just about ready to serve them. And look at these. Aren't these absolutely adorable? And they would look so pretty on a dessert platter. Little mini pavlovas.